hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing well if you're new to my channel you are most welcome <laughs> you are in the right place i tell you <laughs> and if you are not yet subscribed please make sure you click on the subscribe button down below and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos all right i noticed that you guys have been liking or loving this type of videos and i said why not give it to you all <laughs> since that's what you prefer so here today i bring to you all another cook with me video or should i say cook with us video because you are going to be seeing <laughs> more of my kids in this video we all are going to be cooking together well not all because favor has gone to school she's not going to be in this video but i'm home with the two boys all right so let's get cooking so this is my chicken i've been marinating the chicken for almost five hours now if you want to see how i marinated the chicken i'm going to be leaving a link in the description box below so you can see how i did that it's almost the same thing all right the way i did this one with the way i did the other one is almost the same thing so i just brought out the rice i'm going to be cooking all right <laughs> okay so today we are going to be making white rice um with mixed vegetable sauce or stew i'm going to be using different types of vegetables both frozen one as well yes How are you? How are you? <laughs> yes. How are you? Josh! What are you doing? <laughs> Joshua! What are you doing? Eh? Kel! How are you? Yes, you're fine. I know. Do you want to sleep? Boo boo. It's time to. It's time to. <laughs> boo boo. Hey, baby, how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Bye. Bye. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. Huh? No. 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 Don't stand up. All right. Over here, I've got my rice. This is um, six cups of rice and this is the cup I used to measure it. This is the standard cup. And some of you has been asking me what type of rice do you normally use. This is the rice I use. It's called Thai Bonnet Yellow Parboiled Rice. I'm going to try to insert a picture of that. Alright, I'm just washing the rice. Just slightly washing it before I add it. To the pot i'm going to be parboiling it and i'll be washing it again this is not the first and final wash i'll still be washing the rice again so i'm going to parboil it for like five minutes just five minutes or thereabouts and then i will wash it again
okay it's about five minutes later so i'm going to be washing the rice like i said before Now, after washing the rice, I'm going to add some water into my pot, place it on fire, and I'm going to be adding some salt to that, just um, about a teaspoon of salt. Adding some olive oil. Now I'm going to cover the pot and allow the water to boil for some minutes before I add the washed rice. So at this point my son needed more attention so I'm going to back him and continue with my cooking. <laughs> this is how we do it in Nigerian homes so <laughs> when our kids start disturbing we put them on our back and before you know it they will just sleep off like in less than 10 minutes they are sleeping already. <laughs> you will see that in this video. I just brought out um, cabbage and some carrots. I'm going to be washing and peeling the back of the carrots, then slice it into circular shape. Oh, <laughs> as I was peeling and washing the carrots, someone pressed the bell and my order just arrived. So that's what I went to pick downstairs. I'm also going to be washing and shredding my cabbage. Like I said before, I'm going to be using different types of vegetables for this sauce. Like <laughs> when it comes to vegetables, I use any type of vegetable in my cooking. So I'm just checking on the chicken to see if it's cooked, but not 
really cooked so i'm going to put it back in the oven and let it grill for some more minutes and i'm going to be shredding my cabbage i will also be using frozen spinach okay that's going to be my garnishing vegetable for this recipe so i'll be using frozen spinach and i took it out from the freezer for some hours before i started cooking so um right now it has melted or defrozen <laughs> so yeah it, that way it's going to be easier for me to like shred the spinach So this is the spinach as you can see i'm just squeezing out some of the excess water and just shredding it into pieces checking on my rice i'm going to test it to see if it's cooked but no it's not yet cooked so i added a little more water and i'm going to allow it to cook until it's soft to my liking and here are my cut vegetables now the chicken is done i just turned off the oven and i'm going to leave it there and continue cooking it's time for the sauce or stew so i added some um cooking oil that's vegetable oil and i'm adding some palm oil to that as well i'm going to let it get hot a little bit then i'm going to add my onions adding some garlic powder some dry thyme basil leaves that's the dry one some curry powder paprika powder and finally some aromats now mix that very well and add one sliced green bell pepper and one red scotch bonnet pepper i'm going to stir that a little bit and add the carrot Now I'm going to be adding these frozen vegetables. In these frozen vegetables, I have different variety of vegetables in there. Like I have lentils, I have green peas, I have cubed um, potatoes, I have um, bell peppers, I have carrots. Oh my God, I don't know. <laughs> I have thousands of vegetables in there. <laughs> okay as you can see now my son has started sleeping you see i told you if you want to put your child to sleep like fast and easily just back him or her and in less than 10 minutes you will see the child start sleeping like when you back him or her just walk around the house um just give the child for like 10 minutes to sleep and then you can lay him or her down in his or her bed now i covered the 
the sauce to cook for like five minutes and after five minutes i'm going to be adding these two butter tomatoes this tomato is really really good it's been my most favorite um type of tomatoes like it's so good i i don't know how to explain how good it is i love to cook with these tomatoes so i added two of that and i rinsed the bottle because nothing goes to waste in my house <laughs> okay i just tasted and i needed to add more salt and i just added some salt i'm going to be mixing that as well now cover it and let it cook properly for like 10 minutes to 15 minutes and at this point i noticed that the sauce was very very thick so i need to add some water to loosen it up after about five more minutes of cooking which is in total 15 minutes i added the shredded cabbage mix it in very well and add the spinach now i'm going to mix everything very well and the, yes this is exactly the consistency i want not too watery and not too thick either so i'm just going to cover it let it steam for like three minutes yeah just three minutes and while that is cooking i'm just going to go ahead and um, wash the things i use to cut the vegetables Okay, at this point everything is done I'm just going to dish out my food all right today we are not going to be eating on the dining table because we are not um, complete today favor is not around the daddy is sleeping it's just me and the boys so um, they have taken something so it's just me alone I'm going to be dishing out my food And this is my grilled chicken sorry guys i forgot to show you um the actual look of the whole chicken after grilling it but this one can give you an idea of what they all look like you guys you need to try this recipe it was so delicious <laughs> thank you so much for staying and spending your time with me today i'll see you guys in my next video